Hello everyone and welcome back to a Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. In this video I present some awesome freeware scenery packages available on Nexus mods. Uh, five of them in particular and we begin at Toulon in France. And this is a uh, mod by Azure Poly. We are first going to fly over in the stock scenery. So this is without the mod so you can see what it looks like. And then we'll fly over with the mod. I'm flying out of LFMQ even though there's supposed to be a uh, airport that's closer. But that airport uh, is not there in the stock scenery and it also is not added by the mod, so that's beside the point. On the right side of the screen you'll see a port area that doesn't look much like a port area. It looks rather greenish, there's some grey, but that's the focus of this scenery package. There are other fixes as well around and makes the whole area of Toulon look a lot better. But the port area is most striking, so I'll point it out so that you get a sense of what this package does. It's a pretty big package, it's 1.22 gigabytes, so uh, keep that in mind. I'll have to take a look a little bit later as to whether some of the textures can be reduced. But you can see this, this looks weird. This just looks really, really weird. And so I can appreciate why a fix might be necessary. You can see from the distance, the port area, which is currently to the left uh, there, uh, definitely already looks very different. And some of the um, other area around the port and on the outskirts of the city also seems to have better roadways and so I'm flying over it now. I didn't really uh, point that out in the default flight because I didn't know what it would fix. I knew from the images at Nexus Mods that it would fix the port so I focused on that a bit but uh, some of the rest of this stuff looked different too now that I got the mod in and got a look at it. But you can see we've got cruise ships, we've got uh, definite sort of not green port area <laughs> so yeah it, it, it's not perfect obviously uh, nothing is perfect but it's a huge huge improvement and perhaps there'll be further developments to this mod I don't know so again this is by Azure Poly and of Toulon in France and here we get another look at the area uh, this is past where the cruise ships are of course there's one more over there if you look at the port in detail, you see there are buildings down there that aren't being rendered into 3D model buildings. So that's what I mean by there might be additional work to it. But yeah, I mean, it's just a huge difference. Next up is a much more complicated area. This is Istanbul. And this is a mod by Onur A. Sahin, again on Nexus Mods. And I'm flying over the area of Hagia Sophia there. You can see. Uh, those are stock models. This is all the stock version that we're going to see first. And this is going to be a 1.9 gigabyte mod. So huge. And it has a lot of buildings. And one thing you'll notice about Istanbul is that uh, in the stock scenery, it doesn't seem to have a lot of tall buildings, which is strange. Uh, to the left, you'll see an empty area there. Oh, I turned the camera to get a look at Hagia Sophia. Again, I'm flying in the default scenery without knowing what the new scenery will change. But you'll see a blank area, there's a sort of nondescript tower there and then this uh, at our left wing there is some ground that obviously should be a more complicated building but it's not being rendered like that and you get a lot of that in the stock scenery. The AI has sort of built a very large building that's very low. It's obviously meant to be something more complicated but it didn't make it a tall building so yeah a lot of that is going to be fixed. You can see uh, other sort of large buildings, physically area-wise large buildings that ought to be something more complicated. To the left we see one of those. And the bridges aren't all that great either. So uh, look at the bridges that are across uh, both of the waterways here. Uh, we're still over Europe at this point, just for reference. Uh, we'll go over to the Asian side in a bit, but this is all the European side and just a lack of really tall buildings. So again, to our left is all the European side. Across the bridge, across the water, to our right is the Asian side. So yeah, it's, it's not horrible, I mean, obviously, but it could do with some new buildings, some more buildings. There's some sort of a formation there that could be developed. <laughs> and again, the bridges are distinctly lackluster. So now on to the Asian side. We see uh, in the new scenery, in the modded scenery, you'll see some towers, some communication towers and other things 
from this view, but we don't see those here right now. And even in the distance, there'll be taller buildings that we do not see at the moment. So all of that will change. And you can see some of the areas that might become better buildings, <laughs> like uh, that one uh, close to our left wing. That seems like it ought to be something, but isn't right now. But because I didn't know what the mod would fix, again, I was just floating around Istanbul, and Istanbul is huge, so it's tough to focus in on things, but I guarantee you that once you see this mod by owner A. Sahin, you will definitely see the difference. <laughs> so it's a striking difference, and I don't use the word awesome that much. None of my videos start with, with awesome, except for this one, so I mean it. Uh, this was good work. And so we can see the southern end of the Asian side of Istanbul here. You can see, again, the, the normal AI-generated buildings. The harbor is looking a little bit sad. But most of the stuff I noticed in the mod uh, was on the European side. There were things on the Asian side, but most of it seemed to be on the European side. So here's the mod version. Again, 1.9 gigabytes, but I think it's probably worth the size. First of all, you can see uh, we've got Hagia Sophia again. We're starting off in the same corner, but to our left, that empty field has drastically changed. Instead of a nondescript tower, we see a much more a refined tower, obviously a custom model. And in that empty lot, we see another mosque, I suppose. And I don't know which mosque that is, but there is definitely another one there. And it makes sense because on that empty lot, we saw something that looked about that shape. So, yep. And we see to our right, still on the European side of Istanbul, lots of buildings, lots of tall buildings. And it's not just a flat terrain. These are things that are sort of sticking out. And I presume that these are real things. <laughs> uh, so we're flying by this. The textures on this uh, particular twin, these buildings could do with some work. Uh, the shading is just probably time of day kind of thing when it was captured. So that's a little bit awkward. So great improvement to the city overall, but certainly room for improvements beyond what we have here. The building in front of us, I think, was there before. I remember flying over it before, so that's just normal. But there are, some other, there are plenty of other buildings that are new, and we'll fly by some of them. There's sort of an empty lot at our right. I don't know, maybe that's just uh, like a mall thing or something, but that might be something that could be developed. But there's some fancy buildings here. That one with the sky texture, I don't know what that is, but it seems like it's fancy. Uh, yeah, that's an interesting building. Now there's one with some Z fighting there. So like I said, I mean, it, nothing is perfect. and. So there are always room, there's always room for improvements, and uh, fixing the Z-fighting on that building might be something. If I knew what building it was, I'd probably t temporarily take it out just so that it's not ruining the effect. But that's just because uh, two polygons are like trying to share space, and that makes a bit of a mess. But yeah, I mean, the, the effort here is very much appreciated. Take a look at that that angle of the European side now. Yep, that is a big difference. And look at the bridge. That is a much improved suspension bridge. I didn't fly under it, I'm sorry. And now there's the Asian side. You can see some towers that weren't there before. Again, like I said, some of the communication masts. And there's also a mosque there that was not there before. So we'll fly by that. So, I'm linking Nexus Mods because I think it's the most organized of the mod websites. Uh, it lets the modders put full descriptions, lots of pictures, versions of the mods, which I think was lacking in some of the other websites. Even the venerable flightsim.com and avsim.com, uh, they didn't have very good space for descriptions or images and... Um, and versioning and also commissions. Nexus Mods lets you put you know what permissions you're gonna allow for the mod use and there's a field for that so that pe people can see that. So I just think it's a better order and of course it's got mods for so many other things and a lot of us are probably very used to using it. So that's what I mean towards though of course a lot of these mods will appear on other websites as well. So 
anyway, you got a sense of Istanbul and the great effort that was put into that mod. Next up is the first of three mods by Nick Prist, and this is of Knossos. This is the stock version. This is the stock palace of the Minoan king at Knossos, uh, which we call a world heritage site. And you can see the stock version. I mean, it is, uh, it's a thing. And, you know, identifiable. It's actually pretty hard to navigate to, to be honest. You really have to know what you're looking for and have your maps out for this one. Now, the mod, and it's readily apparent where it is because, unfortunately, the color matching of the mod isn't exactly with the terrain. But Nick Prist has done some other very good mods that we're going to see next up. There's, uh, uh, this is the first of three, so the other ones are a little bit more refined. This maybe in a different season. I don't know if if um, FS2020 has different seasons, but maybe in the winter season that will work out. Otherwise, I'll probably go in and adjust the blueness of that in the textures if I can. So, but you can see the model itself of Nasus is much more detailed as we take a look at it. But it is a very small area, and unless you're really, really intent on visiting Nasus, you probably won't add this particular one, though I appreciate the effort. And I do think it might be fun doing a World Wonder slash World Heritage Site tour with planes in FS2020. And so, if I ever do that, I'll definitely be using this and other mods that have uh, similar areas highlighted. Speaking of which, there is another area by Nick Prist, and that's our second modded area. And this one is of the Meteora Valley in Greece. So this is also a World Heritage Site, and it's there are monasteries at the top of uh, precipitous rocks, but you can't really tell. This is the stock scenery, and what can you do? I mean, it, it looks like some rolling hills. It doesn't look like anything in particular special about this situation, and yeah, it definitely needs a lot of work. So Nick Prist uh, worked on this Meteora Valley, and it is about a, a 200 megabyte mod when installed. You can see some of the buildings on the on the hill, but it ain't quite working out as far as the net effect. The Nasus mod was pretty big; it was like 255 megabytes. So. I might, I uh, probably will go in and mess with the textures a bit on that. So, yeah, this isn't looking right at all. You can sort of tell that there's something fancy going on around here, but uh, the stock scenery has not quite captured it. So, there are two versions of the Meteora, Val Meteora Valley mod by Nick Prist. There is a photogram, uh, photogrammatic, uh, whatever. Uh, there's, let's say, the normal version, and then there's a hybrid one. Uh, we're looking at the normal, smaller version, which is a 16 megabyte download. And you can sort of see from a distance even, uh, a little bit to our left there, right where the nose is pointing, uh, there is more of a formation. Even at a distance, you can see there's something special over there. And I like that uh, when I can see the special stuff at a distance. The pyramids are pretty easy to see, for instance. And now you can really tell the difference here. Yeah, just in case you're happening to pass by and go, hmm, there seems to be something over there. Color matching is a bit off, but not as bad as the NASA situation. And again, it might be a seasonal thing. Uh, but this is definitely tolerable. This is no problem as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, those rocks are much more convincing. And you can definitely tell that there's something special going on in this valley. So thank you, Nick Prist, for uh, spif spiffifying this area. Now, the difference between the photogrammatic and the hybrid thing is that the buildings on the rocks uh, are sort of smushed into, they're flat, basically. Uh, Nick Prist uh, called them melted. So the hybrid version tries to preserve the buildings as a 3D model while having the better rocks. Uh, that's a sort of balance and there are benefits and drawbacks and you'll be able to see that on the Nexus Mods page where it's all described. And I appreciate that, again, Nexus Mods gives room for all these 
descriptions so that we know what's going on, where to fly out of. A lot of the mods tell you what airport to go out of, so LGMA was the recommended place. You can see how the buildings are with this photogrammatic version. I'm not quite there, but yeah, what a valley, huh? That is a good looking place and certainly a huge, huge improvement. And this is definitely a keeper. Now there are plenty of other mods on Nexus Mods that are good stuff, uh, but I thought these were very striking and the difference was very obvious and that's why I'm featuring them. Uh, other cases like adjustments to the Chicago skyline I saw and Lyon are more specific. You have to sort of know what you're looking for. Uh, it's not as dramatic a difference. Uh, speaking of dramatic differences, the third mod by Nick Prest, who's sort of the MVP of this video, <laughs> is uh, Matterhorn and this one was a very big difference and much appreciated so here we are approaching in the stock scenery and uh, Matterhorn is at one end of a glacial valley and the glacial valley is beyond this little ridge that I'm flying over in a Cessna citation and the mod is about 350 megabytes so that's pretty reasonable considering the area Matterhorn covers when you think about it and it has to be all photo scenery. So here we're entering the valley and one thing you'll notice is where's Matterhorn? A, that's what I'm wondering as I fly here. Uh, looking, uh, Seeing the mod on Nexus Mods I went well there must be a Matterhorn there right? I mean <laughs> what does it look like? And well we're pointing right at it. I was checking the map to make sure but you can sort of tell where it's supposed to be, right? It's this thing here uh, that's uh, right under us, this pyramid-shaped peak. But that sure doesn't look like a magnificent peak that is world-renowned or anything, does it? No, that seems to be lacking. And uh, we're at 14,000 feet, you see there. It's not that high. Here I'm going past the same ridge, but this time in the Citation Longitude. And we have some clouds, but I thought the clouds made for an interesting effect as we pass the ridge. And so, after you get past the ridge, you'll see the clouds are obscuring the valley. But as they obscure the valley, we see a peak. See, there's a peak there. And guess what that is? Yes, that is, that is Matterhorn. And so let's clear up the clouds here. A little bit go from there we go now isn't that a lot better <laughs> now you can tell it's it's clearly the tallest thing around and uh, look at those textures uh, better by far than uh, practically any other mountain I've seen in a simulator I mean that's some real really good texturing so once again this is Nick Prist's work and this is the coup de grace for this video if you will uh, this is the uh, best addition I think because I visit Matterhorn a lot in a lot of uh, simulators I like visiting it and this is about as good as I've ever seen it uh, the others were uh, the other mods were very good too I never me uh, visited Meteora Valley before so that was quite striking and hopefully a lot of the new sceneries the freeware sceneries will introduce me to locations that I've never visited before and things that I haven't seen before in a simulator uh, so that will be good. I've never visited Nassos before either. Um, too long I probably have, but certainly I haven't seen it quite like that before. So anyway, the freeware sceneries are really doing very well and I'm wonderfully pleased. So, yep, hopefully other things will be in the works. I'm looking forward to planes, let's face it. But yeah. Uh, very happy with these mods and thank you to the modders for all the hard work. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.